Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's the dev here. Today I wanted to make a video over a how to ar uh, wire an Arduino uh, to a mechanical relay. So right here I got my Arduino Mega 2560 and then I have a relay here that I got off of Amazon and I'll put a link in the description uh, to these relays. They're, it's like eight bucks for eight of them. Uh, they're really nice. I like using them. I use them at work and um, I went ahead and bought some for myself. But yeah, eight bucks for eight of them is not very bad. So if one breaks, you know, you're not losing a lot of money. Um, but I will put a link in the description for these specific relays. Uh, these relays have a uh, five volt input, which is what we're gonna get from the Arduino. And then on the output side, which is over here, uh, you can have anything, let's see if I can get that to focus actually. There we go. Uh, this side over here actually has um, a one, let's see, I think it's a 250 VAC output max or 125 VAC. Um, and you got 10 or 15 amps total. So, I mean, they're really good. Uh, I use them at work for quite a bit of stuff. Um, but I don't have anything I'm going to hook up to it today. I'm just going to show you how to uh, hook it up through wiring with the Arduino and then program how to turn it on and off and then I'll also measure voltage um, on the output side so I'll just put 5 volts to it a constant 5 volts from the Arduino that way you can see that it's actually working <clears throat> and I'll use my multimeter to show you that I am getting the voltages so let's go ahead and get started what you're going to need first is you're going to need your Arduino we do not need my breadboard because we're going straight from the Arduino to the relay uh, but I just had this nice little thing that I got on Amazon one day, so um, I really like using it. And so I'm going to take advantage of it uh, being here. So, on your relay you got five pins. And I know you have technically six locations here on this relay, but that's because this is the type of relay that we are using right now. So over here on this side, you have your DC Plus, which is your positive voltage coming from your Arduino. So we're going to put 5 volts positive right there. Next in the middle you have your DC negative which is going to be your ground and then the N is going to be your input signal from your Arduino. So I think in this case just for um, just because we can we're going to use pin number 13 uh, and you can make it whatever pin you want and I'll show you how to change that in the programming. On this side, let's see if we can get it to focus again. So on this side over here, you have your comm in the middle. So that's going to be your, your regular voltage that you want to go across the relays. You have a normally open and a normally closed, NO and NC. Normally open means that it's normally going to be open on that relay. NC is going to be normally closed, obviously. So what that might mean is if I have, let's say, 24 volts DC going here, in my logic, if I do not have this one turned on, this one always is going to have power going into no matter what. Um, you have to physically, well, you have to turn this one on with um, programming in your Arduino. This one you have to technically turn off uh, because it's normally closed. It's always going to have power and I can show that to you um, when we get it going later on. So we're going to he go ahead and uh, wire this up. So the first thing we need is obviously your Arduino and your relay and then we're going to get some jumper wires. So I have my jumper wires here and I'll put a link in the description for a pack of these. It's like 11 bucks and you get like 120 wires. They're really nice. Um, color doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do first is going to pull off of the... Um, I picked a black wire. So we're going to come in here and I'm going to show you a little bit if you have not seen a uh, Arduino board before. So um, this is your board right now and what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to uh, this ground right here for this black wire and then we're going to take another wire which is going to be white and we're going to go to this pin 13 here and then that's going to be our first two steps right now. So because it's kind of hard to see from this angle I'll wire it up and then I will um, bring it back up so you guys can see where I'm going. Okay. 
and as you can see, I'm on ground with my black wire and white with my white wire on 13. And uh, next we're gonna do is we're gonna get, um, the next wire we have, we have a purple and a gray wire. Again, wire color doesn't matter, but what we're going to do is we're gonna come from this ground right here and this five volt power pin right here and we're gonna put our wires there right now. So I'm gonna do purple on our uh, five volt signal and ground for gray, or gray for ground. So, so far we have our four wires and I'll go back through. So we have, uh, see, pin number 13 right here is our signal to turn the relay on. And then I just realized we actually don't need this ground wire because it doesn't really, we're gonna be using the same ground on the um, power side, so we're good there. So we only need pin 13 here, I'm sorry about that. So pin 13 is gonna be our signal wire. Five point, or five volt over here is gonna be our wire to power up the board and the ground is going to complete that loop. So I'll go ahead and put that on the relay right now. And again, we're gonna put that on this side right here and I will show you again once it focuses. So we're gonna take those wires and go here to this side of the relay. We're gonna do DC plus for that purple wire, DC minus for that gray wire, and the input's gonna be the white wire. That one popped out because the screw on the terminal isn't very friendly. Again, these are just cheap relays, so I mean, if they they break, which more than likely they will, or they won't have they won't work like this little terminal is. Just got to put some mustard on it. So. Okay. So I'll show you what we have so far again. So that purple wire right here is going to be my positive five volts from the Arduino. The gray is the ground wire. This white pin is the input from pin 13. So this is pin 13 ground five volts, okay? Next we're going to do is put five volts, actually we're gonna do three volts just because it's available. So we'll take on the Arduino here, we got a three volt signal, which is right next to the five volt power. We're gonna plug it in. So those two are just right next to each other. And if you can see also on the side, we have the uh, pin labels on the side and it'll tell you what you were looking at, if it would focus. There we go, come on. Come on. And if you can see very closely, it says 3.3 volts. That's where our blue wire is right now. Sorry that's taking so long to focus. We just got a new camera. It's a really nice one. It's a Canon G7X Mark II, but I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. So what I'm gonna do is on my relay, I have a COM pin on the other side of the relay, right there, and that's where I'm gonna go with this blue wire. All right, and so that's pretty much all we gotta do right now. And next step we're gonna do is we're gonna program the thing. So let's go ahead and look at the programming. Okay, so this is the programming for the Arduino to turn the relay on and off after every second and a half. Um, just a quick overview of it is, it's an integer, which is 13. That's gonna be our pin number. And we're gonna declare that variable as signal. Our pin mode from the Arduino, that signal is going to be an output telling the relay to turn on. In our loop, we're going to write to that signal pin, turn on and then off after every second and a half. And this is going to continuously loop forever. 
If this doesn't make sense to you, please drop a comment in the comment section below and I can help you explain this a little bit better. But we're going to upload this to the Arduino. And right now I'm in VS Code if this doesn't look familiar to you folks. So I'm going to uh, upload this to the Arduino. And then I will um, go ahead and actually verify to you that the signal is being turned on and off again using a multimeter. It's not a very good multimeter, um, but it is um, it's not a good multimeter, but it will work for our demonstration purposes. Okay, so right now you can obviously see that the relay is clicking on and off. So that's the every on, off every second and a half. So with my multimeter here, again, it's not the best one in the world, but we're going to uh, show you that it should be getting 3.3 .3 volts across the um, connections here on the relay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my positive lead over here on this, and then over here on the ground, so 3.3 .3 volts, which is good because that's what I have going to the Arduino. There we go. There you can see. So now, this is when we can watch it turn on, off. On, off. Now you can see, I mean, it doesn't give you the full, you know, 3.3 .3 volts right away, but this is a cheap, cheap, cheap multimeter, but it does work. So my relay is working. Um, technically, I could take this and put it to anything I want. I could cut some lamp wires and make my Arduino turn on a lamp, uh, which I will probably be doing in a later video. Um, I might have it turn on some uh, um, lamps for some people or something. I don't know. I'm working on a project for someone at work, so I might make a video about that. So that's the video for today. Um, very simple, very fun to do, and it's very handy because relays are absolutely amazing. Um, and they're very easy if you're just thinking about it in a way of you're just closing a gate, and once the gate's closed, power's going through. If the gate's open, power's not going through. Easy as that. So thanks for watching. I know this video is a bit longer than the ones I normally do, but um, these are fun to do. And this is my this is my wheelhouse. This is my my hobby. This is technically kind of what I do for work. So it's a lot of fun. Um, guys, thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it if you've stuck around this long to finish out the video. I know it's a little dry, but I'm working on my uh, content as best as I can to make it where I'm not as boring or plain Jane, I guess. So again, thank you very much for watching. Any questions you have in the comment description below, in the comment section below, and uh, thank you for watching again that I've said three times in a row. Have a great day, guys.